idea of SQL DM management pack integrates and extends SCOM monitoring capabilities by providing database administrators and IT operators with additional insight into the availability and performance of the SQL servers, all from one console. The challenge of using SCOM is that the native SQL Server Pack offers a limited and basic view of the SQL Server health. In order to get the desired amount of in-depth monitoring, it requires extensive customization from someone with great expertise in both areas of SCOM and SQL Server. SQL Diagnostic Management Management Pack includes automatic discovery of SQL DM installations and of the SQL Server instances managed from those installations. Once discovered, SQL DM Management Pack propagates the current status, health, and events of monitor instances up to SCOM. Once installed, it provides additional views of the SCOM console and pulls alert from the SQL DM Manager repository. These alerts are then displayed in SCOM as well as integrated with the SCOM database. Because the management pack is pulling from the DM repository, it means that there is no need to modify the alerts from within the SCOM interface. If any alerts necessitates an action, the SQL DBA is able to make those changes directly from the SQL DM console, which will be automatically reflected in the SCOM console. SQL DM uses alert actions and responses to control which alerts are escalated to SCOM and whether they go into SCOM as an event or an alert. Let me show you how. Once we are in SQL Diagnostic Manager, we can go into Tools, Alert, Action and Responses. And that would take us to the Alert, Action and Responses window, where we can see different rules that we have might have already enabled. Um, and we can see there's a rule here for SCOM that basically would send all metrics that have any type of severity, that means informational, warning, critical, and they would send that to SCOM as an event. Now, if you want to use that already, you don't have to do anything else. But if you want to use something more specific, then you can create that as well. First, let's talk about the action providers. In the action providers, we have an email provider, for example, that you can send an email, or you can run an action with a PowerShell script. But in this case, we're going to focus on this too. Send alerts to SCOM and send events to the SCOM action provider. Okay, And there are, those are enabled already. Now what we can do is we create a new rule. In this case, I'm just going to send to SCOM all the blocking alerts. So I'm going to call it SCOM blocking alerts. And also I'm going to do this for the group that works during the day. So I'm going to say day shift. Um, and that is my title for my alert. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to specify the conditions. And the conditions is basically um, what are the things that needs to happen in order for me to fire that alert or to, in, in this case, to send it to SCOM. So when I take a look here, I can say, well, I can say where the specific metric, specific metric in this case, has to be blocking, blocking session count. I click OK, only if it's warning or critical. Then the next one that I'm going to do is based on specific time. So I can see here a specific time. And I want to do, do this during the shift of 7 a.m. in the morning until 7 a.m. at night. That is my shift. And that might be every day, or maybe it could be Monday through Friday. The next one that I want to do is I'd select the instances. Not all my instances are important. So I want to select those instances. And I can do it by tags, which is a group of instances, or I can just do the instances that I want. So in this case, I'm going to do specific instances. So I choose those two that are my production instances. And now if all of those conditions are met, right, 7 to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday only, so not on a Saturday, not if it's 8 p.m. at night, only on those two instances, if blocking session is warning or critical, then what do I want to do with that? 
I want to send an alert. I enable that. That information will be sent to SCOM as an alert. It's as simple as that. Now from the SCOM console, you'll notice a new node appears called IDERA SQL Diagnostic Manager. When we expand this node, we see additional views. Each view available provides a different level of help into the health of the monitor SQL environment. In addition to the health of the SQL server, the DM management pack also reports the overall health of the SQL in the environment that I'm currently monitoring. In this example, I have a SQL instance called SQL1. We can see the health of the instance at a high level, or we can navigate to the event section which will show us an exhaustive list of everything that is currently happening as well as what has happened in the past. Note that the SQL DM management pack reports rich event descriptions in the source field as well within the details pane below. Traditionally with managed packs, they only report event codes from within these views, which usually requires an operator to select each and every event individually to review its details. However, that is not the case here. At any time, one can modify filter and filter on the view for the events based on a number of different preferences. These filters can be saved and reused to personalize the look and feel of the DM management pack. The real power of SQL DM Management Pack is that right out of the box, it provides visibility with SCOM for every single alert and notification within SQL Diagnostic Manager. This means no additional customization is required of SCOM to get you in-depth monitoring and visibility of your SQL Enterprise for your IT Operations Department. To learn more about SQL Diagnostic Manager and SCOM, please visit www.idera.com. Thank you.